Hey, this is Brian, back to do another widget tutorial for Elementor. So last time we looked at the countdown timer and we have this countdown to when our restaurant's opening. So what we wanna do now is have people be able to spread the word. So we're gonna look at the share buttons widget for Elementor. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that over here. I wanna put it next to this spread the love um, headline. So as you can see by default, we've got Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So, so this is share, right? Because we have there's two options with social, and I always get mixed up. One is you can share something, and the other is more like you can follow or connect. So this is not the one for having somebody go to your Facebook or Twitter page um, and get connected. This is for people sharing this page. Um, so we've got these three networks by default. Uh, there's more that can be added, quite a few actually. Um, so depending on the website, you can decide you know, what's relevant. I kind of don't know that people would be sharing a burger thing on LinkedIn. So maybe I turn that off. Um, and I, you know, I can look through my other options, but I might be okay with, with Twitter and Facebook. Um, so then it's pretty straightforward. You've got different views, icon and text, just the icon text. I mean, it's pretty straightforward these days. Everybody knows what these networks are. I tend to just go with the icon. And then you've got different options for the design. So you can do a gradient. Uh, you can do what they call minimal, framed, boxed. There's different settings, flat. Uh, you can choose a shape, square, rounded, circle. And you can choose how many columns you want. If I say one, it's going to do something like that. If I say two, like so, you can also set it to auto. So we can play around with these. Um, target URL, this is just what it's going to share. Yep, I want to share the current page. That would be good. It's going to probably grab um, the... Good question. What will it share? On a post, it's going to grab your featured image, title, and description. On this page, I just stymied myself because this is a regular page. So how are we going to control what it shows? So I took a pause and looked around. So on a post, I, it seems to, like I said, grab the featured image. Uh, if you have a meta title or description and a link, it'll get it. If you're on a page, the best it's going to do, it looks like, is grab just the page URL and share that. So like when you're sharing to Facebook, it, it doesn't look like much. I'm going to share a snippet um, that I sometimes put in a functions file on sites to enable a featured image um, and an excerpt on pages. But also, I think if you're using a plugin like Yoast, um, you can set uh, some of that type of, of information as well. So you will want to experiment, but at the very least, this will definitely share the URL. Um, but I would say it's, it's a better share if you can have an image um, alongside. So anyway, I'll, I'll put those things in the description. So let's continue looking at what these can do. Um, if I go to style, I can control the columns gap. I can control the rows gap. Right now we don't have rows. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and make this inline just so it lines up. There we go. Interesting, when I went to inline, it kind of gave up on the, the stretched width, um, which is okay with me actually, um, but you may or may not want to do something like that. We can control button height. So if I wanna get rid of these backgrounds, because I just want mine simple, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna play around with, I want my icon size big, but I don't think I really want much. So I'm gonna get rid of the official color, go to custom, and then I can I can play with the colors, right? So if I wanted to set a background color, I could, but I actually don't, I kind of like just the white. Um, so I'm okay with that, but I could set it, I could set a ho hover color. So if you know somebody hovers this, maybe I want it to go dark, right? Um, so you can just play with that normal hover, mess around with the button height, button size. 
And then all this stuff can be adjusted for tablet and mobile. Just click on those and then tweak as needed. And that's really all there is to it. Um, so like I said, I'll put a, a snippet in the description. Curious what other people know about um, sharing pages versus posts. And please consider subscribing. We are going to work on um, making more videos. All right, thanks.